Okay, yeah, it is. What time is it? Mm, drop my phone. Phone 24 in the evening. Can y'all believe I've been announced? So, I need to. I got my church clothes out. I need to get my church hair out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do my makeup. I might just do something really simple. Um, look, you probably like girl for church. Let me tell you something. If you're going to get um cute to go outside and see these folks, you better get cute for the Lord too. I'm just saying. I get cute for the Lord. Um, But I'm about to let me see. fix me some fish and shrimp. I've been cooking for my children for the last couple of days. So they already know they're on their own today. And I'm cooking Sunday dinner. I'm out of here. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. Um, I'm going to fry me some fish and shrimp. And then, I don't know if I want french fries or not. Oh, oh no. But a little church start at 10 in the morning. So I got to get my bed, my behind the bed on top. I don't know what I want to go with my food. Yeah, I really don't know. The coconut. I need that many fries. But that'll be enough just for me, so I'm making sure this is cheap out french fries. Mm. I'm gonna soak this pot for Audrey. But I'm wearing like a black pantsuit, a cute uh, tan blazer with my black uh, and tan leopard uh, flats to church. I think I'm gonna wear a chastity because I don't want nothing just overwhelmingly in my face i don't know i'm gonna have to go look at my hair and see what's church appropriate because some weeks i would not wear it to church because it's just too much when i'm trying to praise i don't want to worry about my hair being out of way so i need something no muss no fuss um i'm gonna get at that eat and exfoliate my hair make sure i got all my stuff together for church make sure the children got their stuff for church breakfast is gonna be simple and quick in the morning mm. probably some french toast Probably just French toast and some sausage. And they can have like some tea or some apple juice. I might make me some cream of wheat. I don't know. I ain't decided yet. But I know I'm gonna get myself situated. Cause I wanna be in bed early in the morning for church. Mom. What's up? Uh, Okay, well, don't ask me if you already know, I'm gonna say no. Alright, so. Put this up. Oh! I'm trying to know there's water in there. Um, what? I got some chips. As long as you're eating them down here? Yeah. Okay. Alright, yeah. I ain't gotta fix my food so I can get ready to take my behind back upstairs. I can't believe I ain't really went nowhere. <gasps> I went to Walmart this morning with the pest motor to go find some fish and check my uh, oh, post that. office box. But that's it. I didn't really go nowhere. So I'm trying to learn to sit my behind home on Saturdays and Sundays. And it's so, so hard because and I'm used to moving around. Is the 26 on this week? Yes, this week coming up. Uh, so we're not celebrating your birthday today, it's a Saturday. No. Uh, you got work. Yes, I got to work, and you got school. I thought my birthday was on Monday. No. Last time it was. That was last time. Uh, your birthday's actually. I don't know. It's on Thursday. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. Let me go and cook and get finish getting myself situated. And I'll be back. What? Chip has stuck me in my heart. What? Bye. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Hey, y'all. So I am woke. I was gonna take a nap, but good news. <laughs> Hubby just called me and told me he's on his way home, and I'm whispering because my children don't know. Um, They've been giving him a hard time out there. The job was supposed to be over on the 19th, but they extended it. 
and they just been picking at him, picking at him, picking at him, mainly because he's only one of the two black guys out there. So they just been giving him hell. So, you know, he called me today and I was telling him, don't do nothing that's going to risk your job and because they got to follow you back here. But if they send you home, come home. So the guy asked him, did he want to come home? And he said, yeah. Um, because as y'all know, even when he not doing plant work or outside work at his main job, he has a part-time job at Domino's. So he was like, babe, he said, I could go to Domino's. I can do unemployment. I'm not tripping. He said, um, I'm just ready to come home. So, because he's been gone for two months. So I was like, come on. So, he's coming. Okay, so I am getting ready to get my clothes out this dryer. We ain't really have to do nothing today. Um, I'm gonna make some nachos, maybe, probably. I don't know. I really don't feel like cooking at all. So I don't know, but they put this pot out like, girl, you better get in here and cook. So I think I might be cooking. I don't know. But I really don't. I'm going to get my clothes out this uh, dryer because I got some clothes in the dryer. And I'm going to start this other load. Hold on, y'all. Church was really, really good. Uh, I started to join today. I don't know what was holding me back. From joining today, but I did. But I talked to my. I hope y'all can't see my behind. I talked to my daughter. Um, when we got home, and I told her. Oh, so y'all can see me. And I did tell her that I'm thinking about joining next Sunday. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. You know how your spirit just telling you you belong somewhere. That's what's happening. To me. My spirit is telling me I belong at the church. So. That's my work shirt. Like, what the? What hell is this? Uh, so, now that Hubby's coming back home, everything gonna be a little tight. Because y'all know when he here, he don't make as much money as he do when he out of town. But he said he don't drive home because if he drive home, they give him $800 to drive home. So, that's what he gonna do. Uh, Jesus, I was gonna, I was trying to take a nap. I guess it's kind of good. I didn't take no nap. That way, I'd be tired um, tonight. So I guess that's okay. I was just sleepy. Hold on. That's how I wanted to go to sleep, but now I'm gonna just get these clothes up and stuff and get my life together. Whew. Me and my cousin's like, we finna start working out too. Cause we gained too much weight. Well, at least I know I am. So. Hey, people. Say hey, people. Huh? Go ahead. Uh, I'm looking for something. No, you said I wanted to say hey, people. Go ahead. Huh. Hey. All right. So, I'm doing a load of clothes. I need to take some right quick. The children already started their clothes. Their clothes washed. I need to take. I need to use I'm the only one who still needed to wash their clothes. So, let me go and finish washing my clothes. And I will be back. But I'm so excited. I just had to come. Oh, I'm out of breath. I just had to come get y'all that news. And tell y'all that everything. This is going to be a great week. So, yeah. I'm back budgeting. Extremely. So, but it's alright. Um, they had their last little special kind of hoorah. We went to Sugar Rush today. And got some like cheesecakes and little mini cakes. So that was pretty good. So yeah. All right, guys. Let me. No, I didn't tell her what a new sugar rush yet. 
All right, y'all. Let me go and take care of this business. I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I'm on my way to work. Tired as hell. Typically, when I go to work, it's dark outside. But today, well, I got a couple of errands to run before I get to work. Today, my son decided he wanted to be sick. So, yeah. Check my PO box right quick. It did not make no sense how much mail I had sitting in this mailbox. Now I'm on my way to uh go pay my car insurance because when I called they didn't answer. But then I just found out something interesting. I just found out my credit union also does insurance. Can y'all hear that? I think I need drums. I need to get my drums resurfaced. I don't know. But I know I don't like that sound. But anyway, I had to take leave work this morning, have somebody cover my shift because Because Lil Red wasn't feeling good. And uh, hold on, let me call his uh guy daddy. Somebody come relieve me. I had somebody come relieve me. 
um, and I took him to urgent care because I don't know if y'all know, but with urgent care, you'll get out of there like 15, 20 minutes. I gotta pull this wig back. Okay, that is so much better. You'll get out of there like 15, 20 minutes tops. You won't be in there no more than like 15, 20 minutes, depending on the severity of what you're going in there for. Um, so they checked his oxygen levels, they checked his breathing and stuff, and um, the lady said because of the change of the weather, his asthma may have been flaring up. So they gave me a new air pump to last him until he go to the doctor on November the first. But so now I have to go to work from four to ten. <sighs> I would have had to go to work two to ten, but she didn't get to my job at eight, and I had been there since six. So now I gotta go to work from four to ten. I'm gonna try to run these little errands and pick me up something to eat, which I still ain't decided what I'm gonna eat, and then take my bus to work. But it's just the point that I did not want to be so be at work you know 10 o'clock I turn on 10 o'clock at night and then have to drive home tonight which I'm gonna take the bell way because that's the quickest way and um, have to get back up for five o'clock in the morning and I mean I'll do what I gotta do because as a parent you're gonna do what you gotta do especially when it's your child involved because the whole time I was at work I was a nervous wreck because I put Adri on the phone because she gonna tell me the truth she like mama he look like he can't breathe and when my baby said that I was like yeah I gotta get to my son you know because I don't know but if you've ever lost a child which I've lost too you always on your P's and Q's when it comes to your children and I don't play, I don't play about my children's health. I don't play about my children's issues. I don't play about my children, okay? So, yeah. Uh, took them to urgent care. Thank God that my cousin, she works. She do security for Methodist. And I got friends that work in the hospital field. So, I was okay. But, baby, that whole time I was a nervous freak. Really, really was. And then my husband, he on his way back from Chicago, so he was like, how's my son doing? What's going on? Because when he first called me, I had just left my job, and I was on my way to get Lil Red. He was like, you ain't got him yet? And I'm like, hold up now. I couldn't just leave my job. I ain't got the type of post where I could just leave and there's somebody there. No, I have to wait for somebody to get there. Now, had it been like a emergency, 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 I would have stopped everything I was doing to see you know to get there and i would have probably just say screw my job but because i knew he was okay because his brother was there his brother was monitoring him and keeping an eye on him i knew he was all right but i was like hold on captain i'm a one woman show right now you way out of town i understand you on your way but you way out of town so hold up so um then he called me maybe an hour later I guess he wanted me to give him time to give, I guess he wanted to give me time to get Lil Red registered and get him to the hospital and all that and he was like well how my son doing I'm like he alright he okay they giving him a breathing treatment and stuff so and then he, I called him after we left the hospital to give him an update he was like so you know I, he say so how they say I say he, they say he just probably got a cold and his asthma was flaring up he said well where he at now I said he back in school I said I asked him if he want to go back to school did he feel okay? He said, yeah. I said, he said he just a little nausea, nauseated. And I said, I think that's because of the albuterol. I said, but I think he ate breakfast this morning. Because he always get up and eat breakfast in the morning. Um, so he was like, well, how he gonna take a test if he nauseated? I'm like, okay, look. I didn't want him to have to retest on the test. So that's why I went ahead and took him to school. But I did ask him before he even went into the school building, do you feel okay? Are you okay? And he said yes. He was like, oh, all right. I say, and his his aunt is picking him up for one o'clock. His aunt got him right now. That's who I was on the phone with. She got him. She finna take they finna, she finna take her son to the dentist and then gonna take them to McDonald's. Like, we got this, boo boo. Let us have this. Like, I just feel I just feel so blessed to have family here that I can call on that's here to help me and I don't have to do it alone completely I'm tripping I know these people like why is she hitting on her brakes going for the runners like look here 
So I'm on the phone with my husband trying to check on him. I'm thinking he's going to do a little pit stop. He's going to go ahead and drive straight through. So he should probably be home. Um, maybe 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Maybe. So I'm sitting here. Like I said. Let me go on the drive so I can pay attention to this road because it's kind of hard to talk. 